in today's episode we've got Sam Crossley here and he's going to be showing us around his 1989 Mark 1 Caddy. So, tell me about this truck. This is a 1988 truck, is it? 1989. 1989 on an F-Reg. And we've got you've got your teardrop here as well, but we've we've covered that in a in another video. Yeah, that will um, uh, everyone will be looking forward to that one more than this one probably. So, <laughs> this is so interesting, but and when we got to the campsite, everyone's more interested in the in the, the caravan. Yeah, which yeah. is which is fair enough. We haven't come to a caddy camp, have we? So, <laughs> well, have we? We have. <laughs> And but this time you've got you've got some new wheels, some some what are they banded G60s? Banded G60s. So I think they're between eight and eight and a half J. So quite large for like a normal size caddy that wasn't lowered very much. Right. But the old wheels were just seven J. We were one nine five tires and they were okay, but they were starting to age a bit. So I thought let's have a little change. Mm. Try some G60s. Always wanted your G60s, and uh, these came up. Um, got them, had to get a couple of new tyres, went for 185s on the front this time because I'm not always absolutely nailing the PD down the road so don't need to be wheel spinning everywhere, just want to get on the road. It makes the steering a lot lighter which is really good mm. and it seems to suit the car very well but it's just the back ones are a little large at the moment but we'll see what we can do. Yeah and what about the brakes because there's going to be a lot of people commenting like oh what are those on the truck what are those on? no one seems to like create conversation anymore which is what i think people are lacking but everyone just wants to straight up ask questions like what's this what's that on there so for those people let's go with the brakes first on the front what have we got there so the vr6 g60 uh, calipers mm. on a 280 mil disc they're sort of the biggest ones really you should go, can go for on a mark one unless you're going silly big wheel size but these are the biggest ones you can really go for under a 15 inch wheel some in 15 inch wheels do fit some do not fit but the g60s fit on from these steelies really mm. well on it and also uh, mated that to a nine inch servo from a mark ii golf gti brand spanking new with a new 22 mil master cylinder and now it stops like it should with the power it has. So wow. Really good. <laughs> That's, and you've got the Volkswagen dust caps, very important. Oh, yeah, very, very important. <laughs> so how long have you had this now for? Just over a year, a year and two days, I think, now, as we record this. So yeah. uh, it was in a completely different state. Dan will post a picture up here. Yes. <laughs> there we are. And it looked like a bit of a state. Um, and what have, you, what have you put on it and what have you done to it since getting it? Uh, well, I was going to look at the list on my phone, but the recording would go on for far too long to be able to uh, <laughs> do this. But it's uh, it's currently got uh, all new brakes, <laughs> so calipers, discs, uh, mounts, new coilovers, um, new front bumper strip, new bumper ends, new grill. It's on its third grill. Uh, it's on its uh, fourth starter motor, which is uh, which two of them died on me. It's actually on its fifth starter motor. Um, it's on its fourth gearbox because it came with the four speed, went to the five speed, went to an O2J, went to a better O2J, then changed the gearing on that one, so now that's changed. Um, the the only thing that's sort of stayed with the car since I got it is the paint, the panels, the seats, and the sliding rear window. So you've uh, not had to do any welding, really? No, thankfully the guy who had it before me has done some welding enough. Uh, I have Sorry, I've had to send it to a shop where underneath where it commonly like splits off. Um, that started to get a little rust uh, line through it, so I just got a guy to put a mat patch on it, cover it up, and it's all good for now until one day eventually in the future when um, I take it all apart and down to bare metal and really go through it. But for now, it's, it's still being used as a work truck, so mm. it's just going to be scabby for as long as possible, and as long as it doesn't have any rust and it doesn't leak, yeah. we're all good. And well, I guess one of the main things you've done is put a PD-130 in it. Yeah, which surprisingly didn't come with any oil leaks after I did it, but put a new uh, rear main seal on it, which is uh, very important on a car that had, well, the Golf had 220,000 miles on it. Um, and so I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to get any leaks anywhere. I put a shortened sump on it because um, the PD1 is massive and it basically would be scraping on the ground right now and the caddy's height. 
so the sump keeps a little a little bit higher uh, we've had no leaks from the oil but that's the important word there is no leaks from oil mm -hmm. because it had numerous fuel leaks because all the fuel lines on the caddy were starting to deteriorate the ones on the mark 4 were starting to deteriorate so we replaced a load of them and still some more to go through and um yeah, we didn't have any gearbox oil leaks as well. It was kind of surprising. It was just fuel, 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 fuel. But wow. thankfully, no no disasters with it so far. It's just little drips and stuff. So mm. just replace the relevant parts, and it's it's been pretty good. Wow. And of course, we you've got the uh, the old school big elephant ear wing mirrors. Yeah. Those are a sort of newish instalment, aren't they? Yeah, they are expensive, but I think it's been worth every penny just for you to be able to see what's behind you. Because the focus on this build was to make it like a daily vehicle. I want yeah. to use it every day, I want to take it on the motorway, I want to take it to the shops, absolutely everything. And now I can see everything out the yeah. side mirrors as well as the rear view mirror. So um, it's good. And it makes me feel safe on the road as well. Yeah. Because this is made out of very thin steel. <laughs> yeah. And if someone was to bump into me, I'd be crying for quite a few days. Yeah. I like I like the rear view mirror as well. That's like a clip on thing, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's just one of those eBay specials that's like eight pounds sixty three or something. One of those really odd prices that doesn't make any sense with free postage. <laughs> comes after a week, even though it says it's not from China. Uh, it comes through your door with Chinese addresses on it, but it works. I've got no complaints, and um, and I can see absolutely everything, even the look on my passenger's face if I go a bit too fast. Yeah. But I, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm well behaved most of the time because. I like I like getting the good MPG numbers on this because my last journey I got 49 MPG which is okay considering I floored it maybe two or three times or something like that <laughs> and then I want to see what it's done like towing with the teardrop um, after this time yeah and I'll see what MPGs it gets there but hopefully maybe low 40s maybe mm -hmm. uh, we we shall see because we haven't come very, I haven't come very far to get to this location so it's a very nice truck overall and yeah. I I like little things as well I noticed the seats look very of its of that era and yeah. you've got you've got the wolfsburg little um what are these called the locking things the uh i, I knew the word and then you asked me <laughs> i don't know what the <laughs> what they are uh, oh locking door pins locking door pins yeah. wolfsburg edition very very cool the, but the interior is a, a lot of the things that came with the caddy that haven't changed so still got the four speed gear stick just out of um you know every time everyone gets in this like was oh, it still the four speed no it's just it's literally just the gear stick Oh, so, so the, the gear knob is four speed, but really yeah. you can lock but, it into five. Yeah, so it's got um, it's got an extender on it from a T5 or T6 transporter, and then underneath is the O2M selector mated to the O2J gearbox on the front. But the interior is pretty much all the same, just giving yeah. it a tidy, making sure it doesn't rattle. It's all been covered in sound detonating. Mm. I put a, a carpet in, but it's crap. It's really crap. <laughs> Uh, don't get carpets off eBay, even if they say they're <laughs> custom made. Sure. They're crap. So I'm looking out for a normal standard caddy one, even if it's more worn out than this one. It'll fit better and it'll look a bit better. Mm. But um, yeah, I put some pedal covers on, which are red, which are really easy to see with the black um, carpet, which is really good. Mm. Uh, but not much has been done on the inside. It's just standard rough caddiness. Uh, I'm always getting told by the missus to sort out the interior, but. I don't mind it. <laughs> After seeing some decent door cards and other caddies, I'm like, I really should get my change because these have been definitely homemade by some kid yeah. and they're not very good. But it doesn't leak, so I'm mm. happy. And the engine goes like stink, so I'm really happy. And also, really happy is my speedo works, the clock works, the fuel gauge does work, mm. the temperature gauge does work. And it just does all the important things. And of course, well, passes in MOT. Is there anything that doesn't work? The cigarette lighter does. Um, no, uh, I even changed out the handbrake warning light when that stopped working. I was like very adamant to fix that. I even changed the actual instrument cover because the, the actual warning symbol was faded off. So I've changed that. Um, did the little lights in the cluster like you did with oh, your old yes. one. So now I can actually see at night because mm. some of the old ones were dead. Um, but no, everything works. The fan works, the heater works really well. The stereo works, uh, even though it's an eBay, I think 15 pound special. Other people seem to have got it, and mine's been with it for quite a while because it's quite worn out. Mm. So, oh, the volume button switch. So when you turn it to go up, it does go up, 
but it also goes down and then it'll go back up and then it'll go back down. And when you go turn it down when you try to have a conversation with mm. someone and it turns up and they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> and what is, the, what is this um, stereo interface, uh, the stereo from? I, uh, I think it's just eBay. Just That's another it. eBay. Just eBay. It's got no brand. It's got SX5513 on it, which it just means nothing. It doesn't, right. say, it doesn't say Sony and even the... It, it just looks cheap, but it works. It works, With yeah. the tiny little speakers I've got behind my seats. Uh, I've got no sound system or anything like that. Just... Little oh yeah, just, yeah. There is just pure sound. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's speakers behind the seats. Yeah. I need to make speaker boxes, but just always focus on so much of the stuff on the truck instead of just the little things I'm not really bothered about so far. It's just one of the things that will get done when I'm bored one day and think, oh yeah, I'll get that sorted. Mm. Does so. this work? This little light here? No, I disconnected that. Oh, it wow, did yeah. work, but um, it only worked if you pushed it to a very certain point, and then it would work for a slight second, and then it'd go off. But what I'll do is. I'm gonna get some light strips going across here that don't look tacky, hopefully. <laughs> and then take it to the fuse box and then take it to the, the button that's on the door um, door insert and then just, and then it'll work that way. Amazing. But Very cool. Very cool. And we were saying on another video that the slide and windows is like a aftermarket thing, isn't it? Originally, they would have had the bubble window. Yeah, so I know retrofication sell them for a good price, 220 pound, I think it is posted, but mm. of course, they're always out of stuck at the moment. I don't know if yeah. they're ever gonna come back in, but it's one of them things, just don't just don't take it out, try and bend it back in place. <laughs> <laughs> now, you've also got the caddy covers, uh, V2. Yes. Series two? Series it, two, yeah. the Velcro one, so. How are yeah. you finding that? I, I've got to say, I'm loving it. Um, ceiling wise I wish it would be a little bit better in that sense because I've had to put my own seal on but it's still not really working very well I was going to say this um, I, I don't have this on my one no that's from the old caddy cover that metal part and then I've had to put a seal underneath that because I can't take that out because it got riveted in so if I take it out it's going to have holes in it uh, I'm, not, I'm not covering that up I'm just going to leave it as it is so mm. um, yeah, so it's in a little bit of water unfortunately but it's, it's not the end of the world if you go camping and stuff then a little bit of water might get in but it's fine but for how I use it, I, I really like it. It stays on at 100 mile an hour in Mexico, mm. which is really good. Um, and even when it's really- 100 really mile long, an hour at Mexico? Yeah, in Mexico. You can't do 100 mile an hour here, can you? So you do it in Mexico, it's okay. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's gotcha. where everyone goes to test the car stop speed. But yeah, that's right, yeah. Here, if you're chasing a BMW M2, which uh, some random guy that just went past me in Mexico as well was like, oh yeah, okay. So track chasing down of course couldn't catch up nowhere near but got to 100 mile an hour i was like oh caddy covers this salon that's really good so it's quite it's quite sturdy um and it doesn't make a noise or anything like that like my old one did and almost you know blew off down the motorway this one stays on keeps things covered really well and also it just looks clean as well it does it look really clean, yeah. clean i don't think i'll ever take it off i thought oh sometimes i might take it off mm. but no it's just probably going to stay on forever now yeah very practical yeah very practical and the rear bumper a yeah. lot of people have been asking about that. Yeah, people love to comment on it when I post up a picture um, asking where I got it from. And I think it was just custom made by someone, um, a, a guy that had a caddy uh, who I bought it off. He mm. just went to a shop, I think, asked them, can you make a bumper for, for mm. my, my truck? They did. I don't think he had it on very long because uh, it's been painted properly and there's like a little bit of scuffs in places. Uh, the only downside to it, it's very, very heavy. So putting it on is quite difficult, trying to get the bolts to line up and stuff. Mm. But... Yeah, it does really well and it tows really well it's never made any funny noises or anything like that and um it just it looks okay as well like i think it could look a little bit better but um for what it does and what it is it's really really good yeah and do you keep it on all, all year round yeah it stays on all year round if i think i'm not towing for a bit i might take it off because like i said it's quite heavy mm. but then the pd doesn't doesn't really feel like of course cool. put yeah. a bit of weight in it it's absolutely fine i don't really i'm not bothered about making it any faster i just want to make it run all the miles that it can do so um amazing yeah, it's all right so that's sam's caddy and what we're going to do now is we're going to go for a little rip in it and i'm going to fill the raft of a pd130 <laughs> right yes let's do it the seats are nice are they from oh yeah the original so original seats yeah i don't know how they're so comfy but of course you don't want to put your foot down at first you'll just wheel spin Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? <laughs> oh man! Whoa! Oh, yeah, shit! We've a limit there, so yeah. Oh! It likes, it likes to throw the wind tires a bit. So <laughs> <laughs> dude, what the fuck? <laughs> does alright, doesn't it? Whoa! That's, that's fast. It's, it's pretty 
in the caddy and yeah. I treated it like a normal like slow car but it just wants to go yeah. and it scared me so much like I never put my foot down ever again yeah. <laughs> that's it they're so light you just put a tiny amount of power in them and they're just amazing but like my old engine being 54 brake horsepower it was it was great but then you put 160 in this and it just it goes to like we can cruise at 40 and 5th and just put your foot down and the caddy and I was if I ever went across to the mainland on a motorway yeah. being fifth gear and it, you could just yeah like you say put your foot down and it just it will just do it yeah that's great about the O2J gearbox as well as the ratios are really good for low end speed so there's a fourth gear pull and sketchy in like that sense but it's like for me I'm like whoa just yeah. going in from my early Westie with the original 1.6 to this oh man it just you, it sort of puts you it puts you back in your seat doesn't yeah, it yeah yeah <laughs> wow we can go in that car park and turn around if you want yeah yeah oh dude <laughs> that was rad <laughs> that, was, you know, that was your like your camera reaction already. no that was like Whoa, like you know back to the future yeah. when the, uh, <laughs> he goes at 88 miles an hour and yeah, it's yeah. that's what it felt like or Star Wars where it's like it's when they <laughs> that's what's great about the diesel is that it's like it's boost power it's not just you know smash it smash it smash it straight away it just yeah. it's, it's slow moving so yeah wow man Ugh. would you say this is like a bit of a sleeper in terms of like yeah, because it's it's still with the tip, with the um, the rear tow bar and stuff. Yeah, and the on the horrible paint, it still looks like a, a work truck. So it looks like oh, there we go. Still can't get reverse. Ugh. So it looks just like an old truck still. So you won't you expect it to still have its original engine that's probably dying. You right. won't expect it to have well, still an old engine but more modern. So um, it, it does okay. Do you feel like you surprise people when you're on the motorway and you're oh, just definitely. going along? nice and slow and then all of a sudden it's like just, ripping it just let the boost kick in and then just sweat see them just like, oh i didn't expect that oh, oh, oh man that's third yeah Woo. third's my favorite gear oh uh, it does wheel spin in third in the wet but it's just right. tires out massively wide but yeah do fourth just pulls <laughs> oh sound too loud as well I can prove to you now about the sound that he's doing the whole time sure uh, yeah it's just it's nice and quiet so you can sit at like a decent suite and just cruise along so you can still cruise you don't have to go fast all the time it's alright I think I'm out of breath I'm out of breath just <laughs> sat here like whoa <laughs> it's a shame we can't show people the view you know? I know yeah it's, not, it's nice here yeah. maybe we'll chuck in some drone footage yeah. here and you can see what we're actually looking at such a lovely day as well like and it's what still february as well yeah it's a bit windy it's a bit chilly but it's okay for the uk man and you did this whole engine ver conversion yourself didn't you yeah buying uh buying the epitech parts and well, buying a lot of parts really i didn't have to do too much manufacturing myself just a bit of thinking like which into cooler to put in and stuff like that and what piping to use as well slow making its toys so. so what's it does it feel like quite an accomplishment having knowing that you've taken an engine out and put a new one in and it works i mean i know you've done a, a conversion before with a mate but this is like this is all you right this was full on my own that i remember i took the engine out of the mark 4 golf on my own uh, put this one back in on my own and took the caddy one out on my own and stuff of course i had an engine crane which I didn't have on my first engine conversion, which was hilarious. But uh, as long as you've got a floor jack, you don't right. always need an engine crane, but engine crane helps quite a lot. So I was very happy to have an engine crane to help me do the shift because without it, I would have I would have really struggled. So yeah. that's a great thing about being a little bit older as well, is that you get your own place, you get your own space, you can buy all the crap that you've always wanted when you were a kid and uh, have the right tools to do the right job and do it properly. 
that you can see the whole road. You can see everything behind you. The mirrors are massive. It's just great. It's a really, it's a really good like a daily truck. Yeah, a daily. It's, it's really cool. Like that's what I wanted to make. It was a daily truck, so yeah. I could use it every single day. You know, we're getting there. There's still a little niggles, but we'll, we'll get there. But it, it's just so practical. Yes. Like so practical. Like you can see absolutely everything. Had th I always had fa faith, but uh, that was amazing, epic. Glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, guys, uh, if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe here if you're new, uh, and I'm going to put all of Sam's links, like Instagram and all that, in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Turn up the 80s, sounds of the 80s, Rhapsody, the greatest hit the day my mama made me. 99 problems, why I don't look or sound like